Good morning, sardines. As you don't know, if you eat <laughs> Banaga Sour Beach <laughs> Mobile, there's... there's plenty of people screaming and shouting. Well, that's just a fun of in general. There's a almost permanent sardine shop in Costia. So you can snorkel with them. We're going to have a quick snorkel with them, see what it's like, and later today we're going to have a scuba dive. Just get a slightly different perspective as well. I got a sneaky suspicion of snorkeling might work the best. I think so too. <laughs> this is a little bit more pleasant. You can hang around for as long as you want. Pretty damn cool. There's one or two fish down here. No? So did you see a fish or two, Lisa? I didn't see any fish. All I could see was sardines. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of them. Oh my there. word, that is absolutely incredible. There are I don't know, trillions, gazillions, at least a trillion, at least, gazillion. <laughs> at least one or two, I would say. But oh, one of those oh, nice ones, you can also see some uh, other little reef fish around here. Yeah, and oh, also, Trevally, who Trevally was, was hunting, hunting the sardine. And Lisa even claimed to see the turtle. I saw a turtle, a beautiful turtle, big one. That was really cool. Yeah, so and lots of little sergeant majors, and what are those other long skinny ones called? Needle nose. Yes, the needle nose. Lots of them around. That was cool. That okay, was very, well, very fun. Uh, that completes our early morning snorkel. Now it's time for breakfast. I think that was almost a two hour snorkel session. What? I know. Can you believe it? Time just goes. You could just spend forever in order. No, well, I'm so exhausted. I can't do anything. Okay, so we're going to go take a break, have some breakfast, and later we're going to try the scuba version all of this and uh, it's a little bit different because you actually go to like 15 meters inside the reef and you come up and then you dive we saw some of the shallower. scuba divers when we were in the water now so i think it just gives you a different perspective but either way snorkeling woohoo so far so good all right let's go cool. breakfast, breakfast.
funny. <laughs> But man, if it wasn't for the fucking monster, I think that would have been awesome. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Yeah. Just one of these things. Actually, shut up. Cheers! But it doesn't work so well. <laughs> the idea counts, I suppose. Oh yeah, I was a smart one. I went for the bottle. Oh yeah, cheers to a good day's sardining. <laughs> this is what I gotta put up with. <laughs> I wonder what the well, sardines what do we feel do like. All day? <laughs> I don't know. I have to check with the sardines. Today we snorkeled with the sardines and then we went out for a scuba with the sardines and two very different experiences. Very much depends on the conditions. And the thing is that where this got sardines hang out, the water tends to be a little bit more murky. A little bit, yeah. I don't know if they cause the murkiness or they're there because of it, mm. because there's food for them there, or that's exactly, I don't know how it works. So the thing is, if you dive there, scuba, uh, the visibility is not ideal. And, you know, you, when you're so deep, you don't actually see a lot of the sardines. Well, they're in such big schools of fish, so when you're below them, they Clouds. actually block a lot of the mm. light. It's Clouds. like they yeah, form a cloud as they come over you yeah. and block light, so it actually becomes dark when you're scuba diving That's underneath true. them. That's quite We're, crazy. Yeah, so actually what you want to do is make sure it's a bright uh, morning <laughs> sun and it really illuminates the sky. And I think our dive maybe wasn't ideal because there was a bit of cloud cover mm. actually, but uh, the snorkel we, we had nice Good sun. light. And yeah. I would say, to be honest, I preferred snorkeling with them because you're on top of them, you can just stay in one place dead still and observe them for quite a long time. They also and come a lot closer to you, so if you just hang, hang there, you get the opportunity to yeah. sort of free dive through them and they move around And you're not you. blowing bubbles and the bubbles yeah. actually disturb them I as well. I also think so. But anyway. I have to say, the, the scuba dive was interesting and it was a fun experience, but if you don't have the money or the time, go for the snorkeling. Yeah, easy enough. You can rent some uh, snorkel gear for fins and mask and snorkel for like 200 a day, I think. Close. Right, that was uh, Panagasama Beach, sardines, snorkeling, and scuba and beer. Sunset. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't Look know. Look at that sun. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch slightly the distracted. Now. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and <laughs> please subscribe. Give uh, us a like. Because it helps uh, the channel grow because we're not growing. <laughs> <'Cause our content's laughs> and tell your friends to watch our videos too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let them be bored with you. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.